Marco, we spoke about it before the match, you know, how much of a part the fans were going to play. Just how much of a special day was it celebrating with them at the end there after a really good performance? It was special. It was special, definitely. It was special. Uh, I think the it's the best feeling you can you can take from a um, away match. Um, if at the end of the match you you feel that connection, you feel that uh, the moment they were celebrating together, and for me it's, it is fantastic. I think is uh, is the best feeling you can have as a as a football player, as a manager. And if you see your away fans supporting the way they did it from the first day, uh, from the first uh, minute of the the match, and um, Enjoying what uh, the performance of the team, enjoying the result in a derby is much more important and is special for them as well. It was a fantastic afternoon for us. The commitment and attitude in the build-up to the game really resulted in what was a professional performance. That must have really pleased you. Yes, great attitude, great commitment, uh, desire to win the game, focus, um, being clever in, the, in certain moments of the match, the way we, we managed it. Other moments showing the quality that we have been showing so far. The, the our brilliant first goal is a good example of that. Improving during the match as well. Um, first half not so so good. Second half much better. We control much much better the game in the second half. We dom we are dominant. We control the game with the ball like we like. We created some some chances. We didn't give. Nothing to them that that second half. It was it was good, um, and it was a really a good performance from ourselves. Um, we are consistent. We show the consistency that we have to show in the, at this level, and we won the game. Middlesbrough next. Chris Wilde has done a fantastic job to turn them around and get them into playoff contention, hasn't he? Yes, he made a big impact in that in that squad. Um, was a squad was prepared to to fight to get. Promoted. I, I remember in the beginning of the season, everyone was talking about it, the, what they wanted. Even them as a football club, they wanted to to get promoted and then to be one of the clubs to with this aim, with this goal. Um, and they are doing it now. Of course, they started not really well the season. They were in struggling a little, a little bit in the in the beginning of the season, and after after Chris come. Come and join that football club. They they have been really well, strong. At Tom, they are a really strong team, and the result the results they show it, and the, the quality they have been showing the last few months as well. And will be a tough one for us. Not just because the they have a good manager, they have very good quality in their squad, um, deep quality in my opinion as well, and they will create problems for us for sure. They beat Premier League opposition recently. What kind of threats do you expect them to pose to us? Yes, they 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 did a very good uh, FA Cup as well. They they created a lot of problems for the teams with with more quality than them, Premier League teams, and they they show the quality, they show the ambition and the desire to to match them and to beat some of them as well. And that um, again, because they they did it not just at home, they did away against Man United as well, but they did it at home. Mostly, and um, I know that the, the support of their fans makes a big impact in their home performance as well, or in the, the opposition side as well, and just as at our top level. Of course, everything what I said about them is, is the reality, is the truth, but we go there and with the full focus in ourselves, full belief and full trust in our quality, um, looking for what we did last game and try to improve uh, certain things is the, the way you are doing so far. We respect all the all the teams as well, all the squads, all, all the managers. But the full focus is on ourselves, what we can do. We know for the next match against Middlesbrough that just at our top level we can win that match, and it's what we'll try to do. We'll try to play at our best level to win, to take the three points. It's kind of how how do you guard with with the situation that we're in? I mean, the job's nowhere near done. But how do you guard against complacency in a squad to keep them motivated it, with with what seems like it's very likely to seal a top two position? To be uh, the most honest possible is not something is being really tough for me, not at all. I think the um, is not even something that I I've, I've been spending um, too much time on it. Um, it's not something that I have to to speak every single day with them because I I feel from our players the the focus and the the, the desire and is being um, 
not really difficult to to make them to keep the the, the feet on on the ground um, to to be honest because we we know what we are doing so far you know that uh, if you are uh, if you are at our top level it's really difficult for the opposition side but we know as well if you are not if you aren't at our top level each team can beat us i think we had a good examples in the in the recent past and uh, we we don't want to repeat it again and we have to to go again but they have they have been focused they have been commitment with uh, with our goal with our in a daily basis and the most important thing and finally how's the team full full available and uh, no no bad news for us from the last from the last game and um, all of them they are available